Okay, so here is the uh, velocity time question that was tricky that had the car and the motorbike. So I'll just do a quick explanation. So our car travels first, and we need to draw a velocity time graph. Okay, so let's draw vertical vertical for the velocity and then the horizontal for time okay so our car starts off and with constant acceleration so it gets to 22 meters per second then keeps that for t seconds and then decelerates constant deceleration right so the things on here. Oops. That's the line, so that's twenty two meters per second. This is zero, so it's thirty seconds to get here. Right. This part is T seconds uh, and it's 120 all the way to the end and it says that it's 2145 meters in total okay so that's all of our important information on there yep okay so that's a taken care of Now B, find the value of T. Well, as we see, this is trapezium. So basically we just do trapezium. So our two parallel sides. So we have T plus the bottom, which is T, sorry, it's 120. So T plus 120, divide that by two, and multiply it by the height, which is 22. That equals 2,145. Okay, so what's this? Well, 2 times 22, that's 11. So that's 11 times t plus 120 is 2,145. And that means we have 11 t plus 132 equal to 2145 and that means 11 t equals 8 to 5 so t equals 75 so that means we're taking part take care of that part right now the tricky part so a motorbike leaves 10 seconds afterwards so about a third of the way here okay, and it accelerates and catches it at point a where the car is driving at 22 meters per second. So that means that basically you must have a triangle, something like that. Okay. And it tells us that um, it travels 990 meters. So that means that the area of this triangle is 990 meters. Okay. So we're going to try and work out um, where A is. So what we do is we're going to think about the car rather than the motorbike because we know more about the car. With the motorbike, we don't know the rate of acceleration and we don't know the speed that it's going when it catches the car. So let's concentrate on the car. We know we can ignore the end where it accelerates because it's doing 22 kilometers an hour. Quite much. So this is 30. And we know we're going to call this now small t. And we know the area of it, we know the height, sorry, is 22, as it was before. And we know that the area is now 990 meters. So same as before, uh, we're going to set up the trapezium. So we've got T plus T plus 30 by 2 times 22 is 990. So that means we've got 2t plus 130 times 11 is 990. So then that means I've got 
duty plus uh, plus thirty. Sorry, yeah, plus thirty equals ninety, and therefore duty equals sixty, and therefore t equals thirty. So now we know that this t time here is right here is thirty seconds. So in total, 30 seconds for the triangle, 30 seconds to get to this point. And that means that point A is at the end of this trapezium. So here's point A. Now, we know that that's 60 seconds, 30 plus 30. That means that when the bike leaves 10 seconds later, it takes the bike 50 seconds. So now we can work that out. And work out the um, the acceleration. Because um, now we can redraw the triangle and we know one more of the um, one more of the measurements of the triangle. So it's just like going down here. B whoops. B find the value of A. So remember our triangle like that. Okay, we know that the area is nine hundred. 90. We now know that the base is 50 seconds. We need to know what A is. So we want to find out the height of that triangle is. Okay, and that's easy because we know a triangle is basically is base times height over two times area. So we know that 50 times height over two. 990. So 50 times equals 1980. And the height is equal to 39.6. So now acceleration is basically acceleration is this, so that's just going to be the gradient, so that's rise over run, which is 39.6 over 50. So 50 is that going to be 39.6 over 50, 0 0.79. And that's it.